I am so excited for this box, like you don't even understand. Hello and welcome to my channel, The Danish Readaholic. Today we're doing a fair loot unboxing and I think we all know what it's about, so let's just get started, shall we? Additionally, I'm sorry if there's any noise, but there is so hot in my room today. I felt like an open window was the best option, so here we go. No more rambling, let's get into the box. Here we have it. So pretty. So the theme was bittersweet. I really like this art print. It is super gorgeous and yes, I, I have no words. It's just stunning. Let's see what we have in the box. I'm excited because I think I know what the book is, but I also know that there will be two books. What's this? <laughs> what is it? It's a basket. I can't... Oh! We have this basket. It is an Addy canvas basket, so I'm guessing that it's inspired by... Addie LaRue, which I haven't read and I'm not gonna read. But you know what? It's a pretty cool basket. On the front, we have a quote that says, what is a person if not the marks they leave behind? I just kind of really like that quote. And also it has constellations on it or something along those lines. And I really like that. Let's do a milkshake break. We have a pin and it's inspired by Strange the Dreamer, which I haven't read, but this pin, like I read on the outside that it was a moth pin and I've seen the moth on the cover so I was expecting that I was not expecting that I really like the color combination of the teal and the purple that is always a good good match I never really use my pins for anything other than displaying but this is a really really nice one and I am actually really looking forward to putting it on my pin banner because I think I will have to start my second pin banner soon so yay <laughs> and we can put it in the basket Next up we have some fairy lights and it seems to be heart shaped fairy lights. I'm not gonna take them like out of the box but they look like this. It's just very plain simple. I wouldn't call them hearts to be completely honest. It looks more like leaves to me. Am I gonna use them eventually? I think I will but not right now. I like fairy lights. I just don't know where to put them and I feel like with these I would need a lot to make it look pretty where I would want to put because like I want to put some on my shelves but I feel like I would need more than this so I don't know I like fairy lights but I'm not gonna use these like right now they can also go in the basket <laughs> next up we have this tray I think this is the third tray that we've gotten I don't really use them I don't know what I would use them for but I think they're really pretty. So this one is inspired by the Night Circus and it says, and there are really never ending happy or otherwise. And I kind of like that quote. It makes me want to read the book, even though I had actually kind of decided not to. It looks like this. It's kind of hard to show you properly without the glare of my ring light. So I apologize for that. I don't really know what to use them for, but they're pretty. And it fits in the basket. It's very convenient with the basket. I can put everything in it. Usually I just, lay everything out on the floor because I film on the floor and it's just a mess when I need to clean it so this is way better. Cool so now we get to the first of the two books. I didn't know what book it what was gonna be and then I researched a little bit because I'm annoying like that and I ended up actually figuring out which book it was and then I forgot again so it wasn't in my fairy loot from last time because I'd forgotten um but the first book is An Arrow to the Moon by Emily X. R. Pan. I feel like I've heard the name before, but maybe that's just because I read a little bit about what this book was about. I believe that this is a Romeo and Juliet retelling, and I'm, I was gonna say that that's not really for me, but then I remembered These Violent Delights, and I can't really say that anymore, so. But let me read what this is about, because I don't know. Hunter Yi has a perfect aim with a bow and arrow, but all else in his life veers off course. Haunted by his family's past mistakes, the only thing keeping him from running away are his younger brothers, a supernatural wind, and the bewitching girl at his new school. Luna Chang dreads the future. Graduation looms ahead, and her parents' expectations are stifling. Then her life is turned upside down by the strange new boy in her class, the unearthly firefly that follows her around an ominous crack that begins to spread across the town fair of Fairbrook. As Hunter and Luna navigate the feud between their families and uncover hidden secrets, everything around them begins to fall apart. All they can depend on is their love, but time is running out and fate will have its way. Okay. <laughs> I am not intrigued, but it's definitely one of the second books, like, 
whenever we got in a paperback and a fairy loot. There's few of them that I've been intrigued by. I think at the moment I'm only intrigued by Beast of Prey and I have four. So, but I am actually kind of intrigued by this. I'm a little bit scared that it is urban fantasy. I rarely like it, but I also think that I haven't read enough to like have that as, as a proper statement because I'm not, I'm not sure that I never like it because I haven't read enough, but the ones that I have read haven't really been favorites of mine. Maybe I just need to find a proper one and this could be it. I also think that this edition is really, really, really pretty. Like I'm in love with the foiling on the cover. It is absolutely stunning. I also really like the way that they have incorporated the font. <laughs> Hear me talk about fonts again, but I really like it and I feel like the fonts that they use fit well together. It's a good mix and I like the design of it. What I don't like with the cover is the faces in the sun. I did not need that, no thanks, but it is pretty nonetheless, and I believe that this is also different from the original cover. Maybe the original is... I feel like that's like a lighter blue, but I don't know. Yay for the first book. I'm actually excited, and it's really pretty. But that will not be going in the basket. <laughs> no basket for that. So before we get to the books, we have the tarot cards that I cannot show properly. Here we go. We have the High Priestess and the Emperor. I feel like they're very pretty, but I have absolutely no idea who these people are. So I'm gonna have to rely on the spoiler card for that. It's time for the book. I'm excited. I'm really excited. It feels like a smaller book, which is good because the last couple of ones we've had have been huge. Ooh, wow, pretty. First up, we have the bookmark. Why did I forget what a bookmark was called? What? We have the fairy scoop shh, and the art print for the book. It is a little scratched up and I don't know why. That's actually really annoying. I don't know how well you can actually see it on camera, but it's a little bit scratched up here. Can you see it? Can you see it? But the art print is absolutely stunning and I'm getting serious like warrior vibes and the fact that she has all these daggers down here i am in love i also like the art style like with the slightly bigger eyes it feels a little bit more cartoonish but i also really like that so yay and now it's time for the book i'm so excited to see this edition because the original cover is stunning and i'm i'm kind of i'm excited to see what they've done but i'm also scared because they might have fucked it up Ooh. Okay, I know that they, they've done something different with the cover, but I cannot tell you what because I don't remember. Oh, but this is stunning. So this is Blood Sign by Deborah Fale, I want to say. Deborah Fale. Okay, and already I am super intrigued by this book because I read on the back, this is what they deserve. They wanted me to be a monster. I will be the worst monster they ever created. Excuse me. <laughs> I want to read this ASAP. Who knows? Maybe I will. Okay. So let's uh, let's uh, see the book naked. So for once, they have actually not done a foiled cover. They've done this instead. And I'm not. I am not the slightest bit mad about this. This is absolutely stunning. Wow. And then we have custom end papers with the signature. And I believe that it is the same in the back, and it is, and it's stunning. We like. Then we have a art print under the dust jacket, which is very, very, very simple. This is giving me absolutely nothing in the sense of understanding the book. I don't know what's going on, and I'm excited to figure it out. Let me read to you what it's about. I am a descendant of Shango, the god of heat and fire. I'm a living inferno. I'm a dead girl walking. 15-year-old Slo Sloane can incinerate an enemy at will. She's a scion, a descendant of the ancient Orisha gods. But under the brutal rule of the Lucius, her identity means her death. Her mother knew as much. She disappeared trying to hide Sloane's truth. Sloane, too, has hidden her abilities. But on her 15th birthday, she is conscripted into Lucius' army. Once taken, Sloane must not only conceal her powers, but overcome the bloody challenges of Lucius' training. 
But if she can infiltrate the Lucis, she could destroy her enemies, the people who think of her as less than human, the overlords responsible for her mother's disappearance. Salome rises through the ranks and gains strength, but in doing so, risks something greater, losing herself entirely and becoming the very monster she abhors. I am actually beyond excited. Like, this was on my releases I'm most excited for list, and now I am even more excited now that I have it in my hand. And I could potentially just go and read it right now, but I shouldn't. Oh my god, this is just phenomenal. I like, I'm so excited. I am so excited, and this also ha really has potential to let me down because I am so excited. <laughs> Let's go through the spoiler card. So we have The Night Circus Tray, designed by Stella Bookish Art, inspired by The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. We have Heart Fairy Lights by Team Fairy Loot. These are fandom neutral. We have the Dreamer Pin, designed by Jeez Hawk, inspired by Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. We have the Constellation Canvas Basket, designed by Blanket Design, inspired by The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Then we have An Error to the Moon, written by Emily X.R. Pan. And we have the tarot cards. These are done by Arts28, and they feature Shang Yi and Li Wai from Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Let's talk about next month. The theme is Cloak and Dagger. And when I read that, I was like, oh my god, I know the book. Then I read the description of what the book would be, and I was like, okay, it wasn't the book that I thought it would be. But there's a book coming out called Cloak and Dagger, and I kind of hope that it was that one. Oh well. Next month's theme, Cloak and Dagger. We're so excited to reveal the May theme for our young adult monthly box, and it's Cloak and Dagger. Clandestine missions, midnight meetings, and unlikely alliances. This is one of our favorite setups for high stakes fantasy book. Agreed. You can expect items inspired by From Blood and Ash, Red Rising, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and our featured book of the month. We're thrilled to reveal that this book will include a ceramic mug and the next foil bookmarks in our mythology collection by Grey Shoe Arts. Our featured book of the month is inspired by stories from 1001 Nights. It follows a legendary smuggler, a cowardly prince, and a dangerous quest across the desert to find a legendary mythical lamp. This Fairlude exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, spread edges, foil on the front and back of the hardcover, artwork on the end pages, and will be signed by the author. I can already tell you right now that I have absolutely no idea what this book will be, but I am excited because it sounds like something right up my alley. My overall thoughts on this box. It's not my favorite. I'm gonna have to be honest. The book is probably one of my favorites that we've gotten, and I am excited about the second book. I wouldn't have picked it up if I didn't get it in the box. Let's say that. I probably would have picked up Blood Sign if we didn't get it. I wouldn't have picked up the other one. I like the pin the best. And I'm not really going to use that for anything because it's a pin. And the rest of the items, honestly, I think I could have done without. So yeah. <laughs> but it's not one of my least favorite boxes. It's just kind of there. Also, with the level that they've kept for the last couple of months, it was bound to just one day... Like, one of the months would just disappoint me. And this, I don't want to say I was disappointed, but this is probably, like, the low point that I've been expecting to come. But that's the thing with these kind of things. You can't hit the mark every single time. At least not with everyone. I think there would also be people who probably are not excited when they get a tote bag, a deck of cards, those kind of things. Maybe they're more excited about fairy lights and this basket thing, which is cool, but I just don't know if I'm going to use it. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me which item was your favorite and also what you think of the box in general. If you don't know what to comment but just want to let me know that you're here, you can always leave a green heart. If you like this video, please hit the like icon and if you want to see more of my bookish content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It will mean the world to me. And until I see you next time, bye!